everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another daily vlog. So today is Saturday for us. I did not vlog yesterday and honestly like it has just been a really blah week. Mark has been sick. We kind of all have had a touch of the sickness besides Nate. Nate's the only one that's had zero. <laughs> so he's happy and healthy um, and we're all feeling better but it's just like we've been cooped up all week. Um, I just I don't know. I didn't sleep that great last night, so I just feel kind of blah. So I asked everyone if they wanted to go out for a little while today, if they wanted to do anything. The kids just want to hang out, especially like after they've been in school all week. They just, and then tomorrow will be at church. So they just like to have a day and I totally get it. But I have been cooped up all day, all week. <laughs> so I thought I would run a few errands. Um, oh, I just got to remember, I got to go back inside and get something real quick. But um I need to just run a couple of errands. Like I'm not going to be gone long because I just, I don't know. I don't feel like it really, but it's nice and it's sunny. And I thought, am I going to perk me up to kind of get out of the house for a little while? When you guys see me in this very big cozy sweater, you know, <laughs> it's just one of those days. I love this thing, but it's getting so big on me. I don't know. I just, I want to like lay back down and like read. That's what I want to do today. But we're going to get out of the house for a little while. Um, Tomorrow is one of our teammates birthday at church. And so I'm going to get her something like I was thinking, like maybe some flowers or maybe a plant. I hate buying flowers because they die, but I know a lot of people like I love flowers. So I'm going to see what they have at Walmart. I thought about going to Sam's, but they, they don't have cards there. So I would have to go to Walmart anyway. Also want to get a few things for the house. Um, David and I are trying to decide on what to make for dinner tonight. And we haven't had like a burger since we've been on plan. And so I thought like a turkey burger sounds really good, like a lettuce wrapped turkey burger. So we're going to do that for dinner tonight. That sounds really good. So I need to get the stuff for that. And then I just want to get a couple other things that we need um, and just kind of get out of the house, walk around a little while. And I thought I would take you guys with us or with me. I'm all by myself. Nobody else wanted to come. Mark um, loves to go out, but he also loves when his brother and sister are home and he can play with them. So he wanted to stay. His cough is breaking up and it's like, you know, when you have a really bad cold and then your cough starts breaking up and it's like, Oh, it sounds so gross, but it's actually a good thing that he's, I think it's progressing <laughs> and he doesn't cough throughout his sleep. So he's able to rest at night, but then he wakes up and it all has settled. So I didn't want to take him and be around like other kids with that cough, even though he's probably not contagious. It just doesn't make you feel good as a mom to like have your kids playing with it. We thought about going to like um, Chick-fil-A or somewhere, but I'm like, if he starts coughing, people are going to think he's contagious and I just don't want to make anybody nervous. So they're just playing at home. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do besides Walmart. I may go get a coffee. Y'all know my Panera. Love coffee. Uh, I love their coffee, so I'm going to do that. I've got my giant jug of water here. I'm really trying to, I feel like I've kind of slacked off on the water this week. I just have not felt, I do not like drinking a lot. I really don't. And I struggle. The hardest thing for me on plan is the water. I just don't feel like drinking. If it were up to me, I wouldn't drink all day. <laughs> that's not good. So I would have coffee and that's about it. Like I just don't get thirsty. Last night I even had to put some flavoring in my water and I never have to do that. Usually I just down it, but I like make myself down it. But last night I was like, okay, I cannot drink anything. Like I have to flavor it. So I put a flavoring and that did help, but I don't like to do that too often. I think plain water is just the best for you. So anyway, I'm going to run some errands and I thought I would take you guys with me. I'm also trying to like gather up. Hold please. It's David. He was like, uh, did you know the oven was still on? Y'all, I made the kids cinnamon rolls like three or four hours. How long is ago? Three hours ago. I am not altogether there. This did the same thing yesterday. I was making David and I some baked. I, I took the palm noodles and made like a baked casserole baked it and it was like on a high temperature because i was trying to melt the cheese on top we ate we're hanging out it had been hours later the oven was still on like i don't know what is wrong with me but anyway he's got it all handled i'm like i guess i need to like i never do that in two times in a row 
Anyway, so I'm going to run just some errands. I would also like, like, part of me is like, do I want to go walk around TJ Maxx, you know? But I don't know. At the same time, part of me just wants to hurry home and, like, lay down and read. But I'm trying to find the motivation here. So let's go see what Walmart has to offer. And I'll just carry you guys around with me today. And we'll, like, spend the day together. I don't know if anybody else is, like, in a slump. I think it's, like, the winter slump. I love winter. And... I don't know, like this year has been really hard on me. Like I just feel kind of down. Um, I've been taking like vitamins, making sure I'm getting my vitamin D, but we've been cooped up a lot. We've had a ton of rain, a ton of really cold weather sickness. And it's just like, I don't know, like, I just feel like I'm in a funk. So I'm trying to like get out, like get going, uh, making myself, even though part of me just wants to go back inside, but let's see what we can all get done today. Let's do it in the house again for the third time because I forgot my fueling and it's time for me to eat it so I'm having these crunchers but I remembered what I was going to say before the first time that David was calling me and all that I'm trying to like slowly gather the kids Easter basket stuff because I know like Easter will be here I know we still have a month left but it'll be here so quick and it, all that stuff goes really quick and at the stores and stuff so I thought while I'm child free I'll kind of look around. I like to put like their bathing suits if they need a new bathing suit, which I believe Lucy, Nate's I think still should fit from last year. Lucy and Mark will, any kind of like beach towel, like just things I know they're going to need anyway. It's nice to have to put in the Easter basket. So I'm not sure if I'll find anything today. We did buy a couple things last week, but I like to like slowly buy that stuff. So if I buy a little bit every week or two, I want to buy it all at once right before Easter. So also going to be keeping my eye out for that. I know it's loud in here, but they do have a few things. These are like Play-Doh or like dough shape. They're only 97 cents. So I got one of those for all the kids. They had a bunch of bubble wands and pins on the other aisle, but I already got that stuff from Target. These are cute too, little bubble things. Lots of peep stuff. Lots of peep stuff. And then where we live is going to be like part of the eclipse, like right in the line of the eclipse. And so they have these eclipse viewers. It's not until April 8th, but I know these will probably go fast. So I got three of those. Um, I think the kids will be at school maybe, but I just went ahead and grabbed a few while I saw them. There's a lot of Easter candy. Um, see anything I just feel like. I thought Lucy would like that, but it's going to be sticky and she's got braces. I know Mark will love these eggs. So I'm going to get, oh my gosh, the kids are obsessed with coin, chocolate coins. And these are Easter chocolate coins. So I'm going to get some of those too. The little carrots are cute too. Let me get all of these. Maybe a couple bags of each. And then I think Lucy likes these. So I'm going to get those too. I'm gonna get these Hershey Kiss bunnies too. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Lucy loves these marshmallow eggs, but with her braces, she's not really supposed to have marshmallows, so she's gonna be disappointed, but I'm gonna pass on that. Look at this exploding bunny poop. I guess it's like the firework things, which the kids do like, but I don't know. Loving my bottle like this that I got, and they still have a bunch of different ones, or two different ones, but a bunch of them. I don't see any of the purple like I got, but I really love this bottle, and for like five bucks, I don't think you can beat it. But these are totally giving like hospital vibes to me, which I kind of like. Um, that one's missing the straw, but like how cute is that? I wouldn't get it because I don't need another bottle. They have a lot of cute stuff, like these $6.94. Purple ones, Lucy would like that. And then I thought these were kind of cute in a weird way. <laughs> kind of crazy looking. Cute. They got ones in black. They got shaker bottles. And then I love their 50 cent cups and plates. It's such a good deal. And these have like scallop details. Like look at these. These are what we use like for the kids all like all the time. They're so lightweight, they're not as heavy as like real plates for them to use. 
I like to use them for myself too. I've been seeing this going around on social media. It's like a skin tint. I've been wanting to try it. It's like $14, which I don't pay that much for my makeup usually. I know that's not super expensive, but it blends really well. Like you can't even see it on my hand. Um, and it feels really lightweight. So I think I'm going to try it. I like things that are very lightweight. I've also wanted to try some of the e.l.f. stuff. Like I've heard this primer is really good. I don't usually wear a primer. I've heard their blush, like their liquid blush is really good. But I'm not sure. I really like to buy my makeup at the drugstore because I can get it really cheap. But I didn't see this. I didn't have this at Walgreens. So... It probably eventually will, but I kind of just want to go ahead and get it and try it. I don't know. Decide what I think Lucy would like for a bathing suit. I think this one's really cute. I'm not sure if she would like it or not. It says it has extra lining for more coverage. This one's cute too, and the sleeves will keep her arms from getting burnt. And they have this one. And then sometimes she gets two pieces. I don't see any of this like really standing out to me, but oh my gosh, some of these are so cute. Like, that is so cute. Look how tiny it is. So cute. I like the ones that are more coverage though. Some of these have little bras in there. This one's cute. simple. I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. This one is cute too. The purple, the flowers. Oh. I she would like a lot of these. I like this one a lot. I think she will too. It has a little tiny cut out there, but a lot of great coverage. I think she would like the color. Kind of leaning towards this. I like how it has like a skinny arm strap and a bigger one. That's a little interest. I think that one's cute. $9.98 too. You can't beat that. So I'll probably get her one and then if she wants to pick out one it's nice to have two, you know, for the summer. But they have a lot of great options here. Look at this one back here. These are polka dots. Those are cute. Decide if I think these are too casual for my boys for Easter. I just think they would be so much more comfortable in this than like a button-up shirt but I don't know like would this be with khakis be too casual for Easter Lucy's got a mint green dress I just thought they would be cute to match but I just don't know five dollars that's a really good price and then I thought putting it with khaki pants I don't know I feel like it wouldn't be very dressy I mean maybe I could just get them for them to wear um just to a regular church service but they're so cute I, don't know, I might get them and then think about it they have a bunch of these pants, too, for $5, but I don't see any khaki ones. Looks like maybe they were there and they're out. Mark some khaki pants. These are shorts. He's going to need them. Um, they don't have an 8 size in this brand. It only goes up to size 10. But this is a 4, which looks... Normally I would buy 5. This looks kind of big. I feel like a 4 is what he needs. Not a lot of options here, but for $6, I still think that's pretty pretty good. At least just for, maybe not for Easter, I'm not sure still what they're going to wear for Easter, but... Or maybe the green? I don't know. Stocking up on a few essentials. The kids just do not like the Aldi ones as much as these, and these are about the same price. Sometimes you... Sometimes I think they're cheaper if you get the big box because at Aldi, I think it's about the same actually. So anyway, getting this. I've also been enjoying some, you guys are just shopping with me. <laughs> We've also been enjoying flavored coffee. Um, so I thought we would try this one, the creme brulee. That just looks really good. I don't like it all the time but every now and then when you want something different this is a great way without having to add anything calorie wise to make your coffee a little different so i'm gonna get this too 
And then I'm gonna make a recipe. It's called like cheeseburger pie and it's with spaghetti squash and it calls for plain Greek yogurt. Thinking about it, I'm also gonna get Nate some regular mac and cheese for 58 cents. We're gonna get two. And then when I get marinara sauce or pasta sauce, you have to find one for me anyway that doesn't have any added sugar. This is one that I found that doesn't and we can have um, for half a, or for a fourth of a cup, which is what we would eat. It's only 30 calories and there's no added sugar. I also really like the Great Value Pizza Sauce, which I think I'm gonna get this time. This is $1.62. Let's go look and see how much the pizza sauce is. I feel like it might be a little bit more. It's down here. Yeah, it's a little bit more. I like it better because it's like really smooth and I'm a baby like that. This is 25 calories for a fourth of a cup. And I use this just like marinara sauce. It's really good. I'm going to go ahead and get another one. We're about down to half a jar. You can also buy the smaller thing, but this is a way better value. 8.3 cents an ounce versus 10.9. See this? Should we do a taste test? I don't want to buy 12 of them if we hate it. I don't even know what that, oh, raspberry spiced. Not sure about that, y'all. Maybe I can find a small bottle and we can taste test the zero sugar. Hmm. All right, you guys. I don't know why every time I start the video, I'm touching my eye, but I'm like trying to see the viewfinder. <laughs> my contacts are all dried out. Okay, so that was like a hundred dollars later, but I did get a lot of stuff. I got grocery stuff. I got, you know, stuff for the Easter baskets. I got a Lucy bathing suit. I got those outfits for the boys. Still not sure that's what I want them to wear for Easter, but that will make a great church. I love dressing my boys matching. I know that. I don't know what it is, like one little and one big. I just think they're so cute. Like an extra large kids and an extra small kids, but they're so cute when they match. It's like a mom thing. Uh, Lucy's gotten to where she doesn't really want to match them. She just wants to go with them, like not clash. And so she's got that mint green dress that I got at Sam's and that's gonna be so perfect for her. But I just don't know what I want the boys to wear. Maybe something will strike, strike me. Um, I kind of feel like, not going straight home, like going to do something else. Tell me if this is weird though. I want to go somewhere where I don't have to check out with an actual person. Like I don't feel like standing in line and like the chit chat. Like I just feel like very antisocial today. I don't know. That's very weird for me. I normally do like self checkout, but I don't care either way. But today I'm like, I don't want to go anywhere that I've got to like interact with people. That's really bad. I don't know. I told y'all I'm in a funk. I'm talking to y'all. Look at these pretty tulips I got. It's so pretty. I kind of want to get some for me, but those are for those are for our, our awesome team member whose birthday it is. It was hard to find flowers, and she doesn't strike me as like a roses person. She may be, but I just wanted to get her something different. So I thought those tulips were really pretty. So hopefully she likes those. Um, I think I might go to Target, just kind of walk around. And part of me wants to go to Starbucks and get an Americano. I could go to uh, Panera. I just kind of feel like doing something different, treating myself to a Starbucks. So I may do that. Decisions, decisions, or should I just go home? I don't know. Part of me wants to see what Target has in terms of spring wear. Um, my kids are also going to need shoes for the summer. I was looking in there and they had some sandals that were cute for the boys, but Honestly, I'm not even sure what size they are. I know what size they're wearing right now, but I think I would feel better with sandals than trying them on. So, and even Lucy, I'm not even sure. So, but I'd like to kind of see the options. Also, I need an Easter dress. I probably have some that I could wear that have it. Like all of my dresses were like too small. I'm going to rest the camera here. All of my dresses were too small before I started losing weight. I hardly ever wore them, but I kept them. And now they're all like, they fit great. A lot of them are too big. So I probably could go through and find an Easter dress out of my closet, which is probably what I'll do and try to get the most wear out of stuff. So whatever I decide to do, I'll bring you guys with me. Okay. So this worked out pretty well the other day when I did this and I really missed like car chats. Do you guys remember when I used to, when we lived in Georgia, 
I used to vlog in the car because we had to drive like 30 minutes each way to church. And so I would chat with you guys. And I had like a little setup in my car where I could put my camera where it didn't look like this bad of an angle. But I hate the traffic here. Most of the time when I'm in the car, I'm just literally sitting in traffic. So instead of just sitting here by myself, I thought I would talk to you guys at this weird angle. I'm being safe. I'm looking straight ahead. We're not going very far. You guys are put down. That's why the camera angle is super weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but um, I think what I'm going to do is just go get iced Americano and go home. It's getting kind of warm, and I'm worried about the tulips getting all wilty in the hot car. Um, and I don't really have anything, like any water for them or anything. So I think I'm just going to go home. It'll save me money <laughs> to not have to. Uh, see, like I scooted up five car lengths and now we're waiting at a light. But I hate the traffic in this city. Where you guys know where we used to live, there was no traffic because it was the tiniest little town. I miss that tiny little town so much, y'all. The um it is nice having it's really nice having more shopping, more restaurants and all of this. But honestly, like I don't know that it's worth it because the traffic is so bad. And what we would do before is if we wanted to go to Target or we wanted to go somewhere, there was one like an hour away. So we just would make a whole day of it. I had to go out of town like occasionally for doctor's appointments and stuff. So we would just make a day of it. And going back to like, if I want to go to Walmart, it is a 15 to 20 minute drive. If I want to go to Panera, it is a 15 to 20 minute drive. <laughs> it's mostly because of traffic. If I'm going to go anywhere, it is far. Like I, before it could get to Walmart, like two or three minutes, like it was so much more convenient. I don't know. Maybe in my old age, I'll retire to like a small town where everything's right. I think that would be like my dream. Like I like cities. I, I like them, but small town life, no traffic, zipping in and out of places, being able to stay home and not get out in the mess. I miss that, but I'm trying to have a good attitude. I am very thankful that I was able to get out and find the things I found today, but I'm kind of getting over it. So I'm going to go to Starbucks. I'm going to get, this is what I get. And I know I'm kind of weird. Not everybody would like this, but I will tell you how to customize it to make it where you could like it. And it's lower in calories. Instead of getting a latte, which is mostly milk with a couple of shots. Here we are at another light. I, I went maybe a hundred feet. Um, instead of getting a latte that is mostly milk with a couple shots of espresso, get an Americano. It will save you so much calories. All it is, is they replace the milk with water and it's espresso. And then I like it just like that. It's really smooth. It's not as like bitter as regular black coffee. I get it the blonde espresso, which I love from Starbucks. So I get like a grande iced Americano with blonde espresso is how you would order it. But if you don't like your coffee black, I would recommend adding some milk at the end, like a splash of cream, a splash of milk, splash of almond milk, oat milk, or whatever. That way you're getting just a little bit. You can add your syrups to it. It's just a great hack. I used to do this all the time, like before I started drinking my coffee black, um, to save a lot of calories, a lot, um, you know, swap your syrups for sugar-free syrups. Starbucks does not have very many of them, but you could get like vanilla sugar-free syrup, a splash of cream or whatever. And it's so much better. Like I think it tastes better. It's not like thick, like drinking a cup of milk. I just really like it. So that is what I get almost every time. I still love the um, cold foam, cold brew stuff, but I can't have that right now. And so a treat for me is just going to get an Americana. So I think I'm going to do that. I have some Starbucks money on my card. I haven't used Starbucks, the Starbucks app in so long that I, um, it had like not, it's not on my phone anymore. Like they take it off to save memory or whatever. It makes me mad. So now it's trying to re-download. So I'm trying to see how much money I have, but I think I have like $30 on there or something. So anyway, I'm going to go home and read some. I just started a new book and I'm not sure what I think about it. I just finished, um, I read Jody Sweden's memoir, biography or whatever. It was really good. Um, I, it, 
It was obviously written probably 10 years ago or so. But I like reading like celebrity memoirs. I just think it's very interesting. So I read that and I kind of was just like in the mood to like do something different besides like I've been reading thrillers back to back. I just needed <laughs> I needed a mental break. But then I jumped right back into another thriller and I think it's John Mars that it is. And um, I'm trying to think of what the name of it is. I've only gotten a couple of chapters into it, but I heard it's really good. Here we are at another light. Um, it is called The Stranger in Her House. So far, so good. Um, so we will see. But when I get my coffee, I will show you guys. And then we're going to go home, put everything away. And yeah, I'm very glad that I'm not going anywhere else because I also remembered I have that chocolate, the Easter chocolate. I don't want all the, I also got Mark and Lucy a chocolate bunny. I don't want that to melt. And it's rather warm. It's 58 degrees, but the sun in the car, it's pretty warm. So I will head back home and I will see you guys back later. Back home, but I wanted to show y'all my iced coffee. So good. Or not iced coffee, iced Americano. I like iced coffee a lot. Y'all know that, but there's something about the Americano with the blonde espresso that is so good. All right, I'm back home. I'll see y'all back in a little bit. The shadows way too long You Always thought that you were weak But babe you're wrong Yeah you Better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long haven't done much this afternoon the kids painted that was kind of a disaster but they had fun um but we're gonna try the spiced coke zero um we don't drink a lot of diet coke and stuff while we're on plan but every now and then somebody just run by naked i hope that's not, <laughs> that's not true when i saw the camera <laughs> I, I saw like a shadow in my brain it says it is raspberry spiced I'm wondering if this is going to have like a Dr. Pepper-y taste because you know how Dr. Pepper has like a spice. It has a spice and it also to me tastes like almost like medicinal. <laughs> so oh, it is Dr. Pepper. We can just take a sip out of the Coke no. and not have to dirty all these cups. David has to do it official. I'm all about saving dishes. By the way, the moment I twist it, I smell raspberry. Um, we had turkey burgers and wrapped in lettuce for dinner. David, did you like it? Yeah, it was all right. It was just all right? I'm kidding. It was good. It was really good. I missed, I, I like, I want to have that tomorrow. That was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Cheers. Oh, I smell it. It doesn't smell like Dr. Pepper. It smells like raspberry. Mm -mm. It tastes like cough syrup. Yeah, it does. It tastes like straight up. Yeah, it does. Like, I can even feel it on my mouth, like the cough syrupy taste. That is bad. Oh, it's so bad. Are you, why are you still drinking it? You like it? It kind of reminds me of Big Red. Yeah, that's what, that's what it tastes like. But I don't like that either. But that, to me, is more cough syrupy than even Big Red. The Coke Zero taste is redeeming it a little bit, but that raspberry is strong. It is so medicinal, like, like it t straight up tastes like cough syrup. Yeah, I'm glad we just got one of those because we'd have wasted. They did have, I showed you guys, the 12 packs. And it took me a little while. In the front, they had a bunch of the regular Coke Spice. And it took me a little while to find the Coke Zero oh, one. It's going to double down as Drano. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use it as Drano now. Yeah, you know it's bad if David won't drink it. Like, he loves diet sodas and stuff. Coke Zero. He loves Coke Zero. If, We've if the raspberry was just a tinge... It's bad. But it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Um, you guys, we have tried many flavored drinks, flavored Diet Cokes. We tried, um, every time they release a new one, we try it. Like the Dream World, the Starlight, yep. the flavored Diet Cokes. None of them have been good. Not one. Not one. So if you've tried the... Coke Zero with Cherry is the winner. It's the only one. That's not like a special edition. Of that. They have that all the time. I'm saying that was the first flavor that came out. Yeah, the Coke Zero Cherry is good. It reminds me so much. When I was in school, 
at our Christian school. They didn't have this at the public school. Although we did have Coke machines when I went to public school, we could get Coke. But at our lunchroom, they had fountain drinks and they had cherry Coke fountain drink. That was back in the day before I switched to diet. And every day that I bought lunch, I would have to get a Coke, not, uh, what is it called? A cherry Coke. And I always think about that when I drink Coke Zero with cherry. But that, yeah, that is bad. Anyway, her bathing the kids. I've just been reading, made dinner. Nothing that exciting has gone on besides the paint escapades. Um, Lucy's not happy with how hers turned out because Mark was sitting right next to her and it got kind of on hers, but I think it looks cute. She did like a little butterfly outline and then it messed up. There's Mark's. <laughs> they used my Starbucks cup as a water cup. I am so done with this paint, but anyway, they had fun. So I will see you guys back at the end of the night. Actually, I feel like nothing exciting is going to happen, so I may just end the video here. I feel like I've talked a lot today, and this video is probably long. I started a new book because I just, I had one more book from the library that was like a physical book I wanted to read, and it's called The End of Her by Sherry Lapina. I like it a lot. I'm already like a third of the way done with it, and I've just been reading it the last little bit today, so that was really good, but we're going to get the kids ready for bed, go to bed, get ready for church tomorrow, busy day tomorrow, so... I'm going to end this video here. Let us know if you have tried <laughs> Spice Coke, the Spice Coke Zero. It gives like it fail F, like a total fail. Big fat F for us. Terrible. But if you like it, let me know. I feel like they just release these terrible flavors and then they just want you to try it. But then they are just so gimmicky, but I fall for it every time. <laughs> what if one of them are good? So that's it for today. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Leave us a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light